Hi everyone, Kiss My Mic here. So today, I want to talk about the movie Rewind. This is a movie that came out last year uh, with Ding Dong Dantes and Marianne Rivera as the lead stars. So it tells the story of the, the deteriorating relationship between a married couple played by Ding Dong. Uh, I just remembered, you know, my, my husband uh, thinks that his name is funny. But anyway, this is uh, uh, just, you know, to go back to the topic. So it tells the story of a deteriorating relationship between a married couple uh, named John, played by Ding Dong, and his wife, Mary, played by Ding Dong's real life wife, Marianne Rivera. And, you know, basically it's about their relationship and, you know, uh, going through uh, a divine intervention. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but but really kind of navigating that relationship and discovering their paths back together uh, through divine intervention. So, um, yeah, so I think overall, uh, I really enjoyed the movie. There were so many good things about it. So let me go through kind of the different elements of, of what I think is, is good about this movie. Number one, the plot uh, to me is, it, it works. Um, it's a simple plot, uh, as I mentioned, about the relationship, about married life. Um, it, you know, it's very, it's very uh, relatable. Um, it's one of those poignant drama uh, that kind of looks at the, the beauty of the relationship, right? The struggles. Um, what's really unique about it is just the, the divine intervention aspect or element of it. Um, you know, and there there is something in the story, you know, the reason why it's called Rewind is they go back to a certain time to kind of do things differently, to make different choices. So, um, so yeah, the plot is pretty good. Uh, the acting, I thought, was uh, also uh, great. Um, you know, it was it was good to see, you know, the, the two actors uh, play these, these roles. One thing I would say about the performances is it's very new. Um, you know, it, it's very subtle and it's really interesting because I grew up watching Filipino movies back in the 90s, a little bit in the 80s too, and I've seen really how the movies were made back then and even to this day, um, you know, I hope this is not controversial, maybe it is controversial, but a lot of times there's a lot of Filipino acting that I think is over the top. Um, you know, that goes with a lot of the comedies that are over the top. Some of the drama could be over the top. I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's really dramatic, but you know, back in the day, like in the 90s or something, that used to be what wins the awards, like in the heavy drama or something. Um, so I think it can be dramatic, but you know, it can be nuanced and it can be um, really subtle. And so what I appreciated about this movie, Rewind, is that the performances of the key actors were pretty new ones. It's not over the top. Anyway, that's, that's basically what I would say. Um, so acting is pretty good. Um, you know, the plot's good, the characters. The structure is also pretty good. Um, I, I do want to say that there is one criticism that I didn't even realize until after I watched the movie. So as I was reviewing uh, comments or, or looking into more about the film, I came across this comment that apparently uh, accused or basically the rumor was it wasn't a very original concept that the story is sort of a, a replica or a copycat from an old movie with Jennifer Love Hewitt called If Only. So let's take a look. You're having problems with your love life. How in the world did you know that? But what's the trouble? Well, I can't seem to make her happy. What if she never came back? You wave goodbye and you never see her again. Could you live with that? You can't leave me. In or out, my friend. So 
So yeah, there were uh, similarities in terms of kind of the elements of the story. You know, it's funny because even the trailer, you know, the how it started, you know, how they started the trailer with what if, you know, you could live, uh, you know, another chance or whatever. Uh, it's kind of similar, and then the hospital scene is also similar, and then there was a scene of him waking up uh, the following day, you know, thinking it was a dream. So I cannot say anything about it, whether or not, you know, Rewind was inspired by this old movie, or it was a, a copycat or whatever. I cannot say anything about that. And also, I have not seen that movie, the old movie. Maybe one of these days I'll try to find out. And, and see, uh, you know, and watch it for myself, you know, to, to make a decision or whatever. But for what it's worth, um, from what I've seen, the movie, I would say it was an overall good movie. Um, it has a, you know, really good story, the, the plot and the characters. Um, you know, the originality is a little bit in question. I love the soundtrack. Uh, I really enjoyed hearing the I'm not too familiar with Ben and Ben before, but after seeing this, I actually liked it, and now I think I'm gonna start listening to their songs. Um, what else? There's elements of the the to me like the cinematic quality was actually pretty impressive, and and once again because my point of reference, I used to watch movies back in the 90s in the Philippines in early 2000s, and then there was a period in which I. I felt so, sort of distant, you know, distant from the Filipino um, movies uh, and I didn't get a chance, you know, I wasn't watching them a lot. Um, you know, I didn't, couldn't find any in a good way to access it, and, uh, you know, but anyway, it's a different story. But uh, since, you know, the COVID time, I kind of have more um, access to it and thanks to Netflix, I was able to watch this movie and there's more that I can watch now. So um, yeah, I think those are the things I would say about this movie. Overall, it's a good movie. Um, I would probably give it like about 6.5 out of the 10 if I want to, uh, you know, just use a number uh, in terms of reviewing it. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I think that's pretty much sums it up um, for me. Uh, so if you get a chance to watch it, it's on Netflix right now. And let me know what you think in the comments and also please don't forget to like this video or subscribe to my channel kiss my mic all right thank you all for watching